watch for our new Biker New England TV show featuring biker news, custom builders, painters, tattoo artists, biking, bands, and much more. To advertise, 774-289-5989. Limited advertising slots available. Everybody assembled, presenting the 2016 Woodstock Harley-Davidson Custom Kings entry. Wow! This, uh, this was a labor of, of much effort and much love and frustration and, and uh, a few choice words at times, I might say. Remix mine. Remix, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we got a bit of a late start on the contest, actually, um, and uh, that being said, I don't think I don't think it shows. Um, but like Mike said, we really wanted to do a, um, a performance-based uh, custom, something that uh, you know touched on the sportsters' history of, of racing and performance. Um, and that being said, like I said, we didn't want to do strictly a dirt tracker, stri strictly a cafe racer, strictly any one thing. But we wanted to blend all those elements together into uh, just a really fun, contemporary, cool bike that people would like to ride, you know? And, uh, you know, one th obviously, we, the, the first thing we did was take a look at the stance and see about setting it a little higher, like you would see in a, in a cafe racer or a, an on-off-road bike or dirt tracker. And what did we do? We did an 18-inch rear wheel, and the standard size 19-inch front, and we had fun with uh, forking by Frank, right? These guys out in the, the Midwest who uh, do fork extensions. I think it's one guy in a room about the size of my office, about five by five, and uh, we did the uh, extended forks on it to raise it up. Yeah, about an inch and a half, or an inch and a half taller. Um, if anybody's taking these forks apart, they're not the easiest things to work. You got to, the inside of them are pretty. Uh, we had some fun with that. We had <laughs> some fun. We give them applause for that one. Yeah. Definitely. We had to do a little bit of uh, of uh, piecemeal yeah. there, you know. Um, we, uh, the powder coat that you see, we used uh, Sumax powder coating up on Riskini. We've been using them for years. And this was a fun thing. This was, I remember Glenn and Dennis and I, we were all walking out there. And the first, one of the first things we said was, what can we use for, for a tank? The stock tank is a little bit bigger. You know, not bad looking, but for a racing type bike, we needed something smaller. I think it was, you're right, we walked by that 48? Yeah. Um, just the color of it and stuff. And even, uh, I don't know where Justin is. He was working on that bike over there. Uh, he even said that, you know, that reddish tank with that little striping on it would help it out quite a bit. That's the stock tank from the Sportster 48. And then we kind of expounded on that and said, what else can we do? And we uh, decided to color match various components to the, the tank. And luckily we were able to find a, a powder coat finish that matched Harley's paint finish, um, which is, that's a little tricky because powder coat, uh, it is what it is. You can't tint it to, to vary it to the, whatever uh, paint you're looking for. So we found that, and uh, we sent out uh, your rocker boxes, um, the pulley cover, the calipers, calipers, derby, timer, and that all came back. Um, the engine collection is part of Harley Davidson's new rail collection. Um, it has a bunch of cool accents in it, which we, you know, uh, we went over with the red and uh, made it pop a little bit more. Um, I should also the. the uh, if everybody looks at the headlight on it, it looks familiar, but it's a V-Rod headlight. It's off the newer, uh, newer V-Rod. And the color, between everything else, is almost dead it's on. Exact match, yeah. Uh, <coughs> we have one of those V-Rods over there. It's a night rod special that you see on the floor, actually. And uh, that was, you know, we set up the bracket so that it kind of came right over the handlebars, give it a little bit of a fly screen effect. Um, it flows pretty good from, yeah. the, from the headlight back to the tail. It's, yeah. Our dynamics is pretty cool. <laughs> the exhaust um, is uh, from uh, Roland Sands, um, and it's a really, really racy looking exhaust. And we, we did a little tweaking on that. We, uh, we built the, uh, the little uh, heat shield that's on there, the mesh heat shield. We put that on there. Um, the, uh, the tail section is actually also from, uh, from Roland Sands. Glenn, is, uh, I mean, he, he was the one who modified the, the, the stock turn signals, actually, <coughs> to fit right in that tail section. He did a beautiful job. As you can see, it's integrated in. I mean, that was another thing we tried to do. If we, the more you can make stuff look tough. like it's factory, yeah. Yeah. you know? And yeah. to get them to fit after if you look at the stock, the stock when it's next to us, there's rails. The rails are a good length, and to try to, to get, we, to remove them out of there, to round them off, have them both even, and to get the, the tail lights to fit in there, 
comfortably in there with the wiring. Um, it actually all worked out. And it, like I said, it's labor intense, but very. And for what we have for uh, for tools and things in the back, I think we did a pretty damn good job. Yeah. For the time that we for the time that we had, we had to do on certain things, do a lot of mocking up, taking it apart, trying different things, mocking it back up again. <coughs> so it was. It was a lot of on, off, on, off, on, off, and in the meantime, between the three of us throwing ideas at each other, changing things, you know, Greg won one thing, I want something else, Dennis has won something completely different, and we're going round and round with each other. A couple so fist fights later, and you know. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, but that's you know that's when you're when you're working uh, on something like this. That's that's you know all the other stuff aside. That's the fun of it. Like, uh, also, the uh, the license plate bracket. Mm -hmm. When everybody does come around this yeah. side of it, if you look at the license plate bracket that comes stock, uh, standard on the bike, it's the same piece. It's on this one, but it's a lot. It's probably about a pound lighter, and it's a lot tighter to the frame. So when the uh, yeah. license plate is on there, it is behind you, and it's also behind your your heel. So it's incredible. Right against the swing arm, it's nice. And you do a good job on it. As fun as it is to use aftermarket accessories, you know, be it from Harley or anyone else, it's also fun to modify the stock components too. And you can get a different look out of that as well. Again, we've got a stock headlight on another bike, but you know, with the the correct bracket that we that we made up, you know, it looks like it belongs, like it came from the factory that way. And that was that was part of the idea. And then you know, we just had fun with a lot of the other little details, the side mount speedometer. If you see that, that's yeah, all. The rear view mirror is hot. Yeah. Like Isn't that yeah. nice? Yeah. Ask Glenn about the rear view mirror. Yeah, I'll say, oh, yeah. This, <laughs> we might have just opened yeah. up a sore subject here. <laughs> we had to do some modifying on that. It was, uh, I don't know if they had it listed wrong in the catalog, but it wouldn't fit on the bar end. So uh, that's, that's that was a lot of cutting of metal to get that to fit. The drill bits that you did? That was, yeah, it, was, it chewed up quite a bit. Is it adjustable? Yeah. Yep. Uh, cool. Yeah, it'll no, adjust within adjust the, itself. The glass on it itself. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. But again, keep it with a low profile. Yeah, I mean, we didn't want to put stock mirrors on it because it would, I mean, it's kind of yeah. ridiculous. But. I sure when you, like, so when you do come on the side, you'll see the speedo gauge and everything, the plus where it's at. Um, there's also a, uh, there's a neat skid plate in the front of it, too, that, uh, thank we, you, Greg, yeah. for, uh, we, we figured, you know, this way, if you're caught on a fire road, you know, you've got a little bit of protection yeah, against, yeah. you know. As, as we tagged in the Instagram, always use protection kits. It's, yeah. it's key, you know, when you're out there That's playing That's kind the of dirt. one of those pieces, like, if you're working on your bike at your own house and you you have parts and pieces laying on shelves, That's that was one of those pieces that was just uh, in a cabinet in the back. And we're like, oh, we want to put a skid plate on it. And uh, it was kind of like, hey. You know, this is laying around back there doing nothing, so. It was a light bulb moment, yeah. you know, as, it, as it were. But yeah, so this is, uh, like I said, there's, there's lots of details on this, and you know, of course we're going to be here uh, all day to uh, discuss it with you guys and check it out. And uh, basically the next step is that uh, there's a judging panel that will uh, uh, bring us into the top 64, we believe. And from there, we actually will depend on you good folks to, uh, to vote for it. And uh, hopefully we, we, we will be crowned the 2016 Custom Kings uh, winner. Yeah, that was actually a, a fun nod to the XR racers that Mike mentioned, which have the carbs hanging off the side. We want to do something like that. How come they actually just face the back to that? It looks cool, basically. Yeah. <laughs> different stamps, but yeah. put a different angle on it. Uh, it actually angles with the, the cylinder. If you look at the cylinders, the way the, the fins run the cylinder, you'll hear the air cleaner runs with it. Yeah, we're, trying to, we're trying to keep somewhat uniform. <laughs> Does anybody want to hear it? It's pull start. First call. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> Watch for our new Biker New England TV show featuring biker news, custom builders, painters, tattoo artists, biking, bands, and much more. To advertise, 774-289-5989. Limited advertising slots available.